uh, so people can get an idea. And there's ways to respond that you don't just say hello back to you. Uh, you add, you're embellishing. Irish like Irish people like to embellish. Anyone hear about that? No. <laughs> no. no. Anyway, uh, what you, basically what you're doing in this case actually is they're saying God be with you as hello, and you you you, you actually then you add in to say hello back. So. G.S. Murdoch, so God and Mary be with you. And then if somebody actually says, God and Mary be with you, then you have to add in, okay, who who, who we go for? Uh, oh, this is the, the, this is the countdown to St. Patrick. So you're going to add in St. Patrick. So G.S. Murdoch is part of which. And then if somebody says that to you, then you have to come back, and then you actually put in the, the uh, female Irish saint, uh, St. Breach, or uh, St. Bridget, and you put her in there, and it keeps going on. You keep adding saints and whatever else. But generally, it stops really quickly. You know, so she is she's married. On you go, <laughs> type thing. So um, you'll find uh, when we go through a lot of this material here, there are tons of phrases here, and uh, these are good to anybody you're speaking to in in Ireland. Um, they will respond if they're if they're remembering, or if you're in one of those dwelt up areas. The Gwelthic areas actually are in, there's like smatterings of them in Donegal. Uh, Galway, southern uh, Connemara is actually a, is probably the biggest one. Also Kerry has is, is, is got a, a decent side of things. Like Dingle, anyone been to Dingle? See Fungi the Dolphin? He didn't see Fungi. Irish, Irish people are uh, obsessed with this dolphin that found its home in Dingle Bay. And there's a big argument fungi. at the moment. Uh, fungi? Fungi, fungi, whatever. Fungi, however fungi. you pronounce it. Okay, whatever. Fungus, fungus. Fungi. Fungi. I don't know. I've, I've seen, I've seen and heard so many pronunciations. But Dingle is actually arguing over the um, the spelling and the. Uh, they, they're actually trying to re um, rename their town to Andangan, which is the old Irish uh, version of it. And there's like a major debate and. So one side want this, another side, and then it's going to cost so much to erect new signs. And, uh, somebody actually, you know the Hollywood sign? Somebody actually made a smaller version of that, put it up on a hill and said, Dingo! <laughs> and then that got ripped down, and I don't know if uh, Andangan went, went, uh, went up in its place. So, um, on this one here, uh, at Jigwich, on the phonetics over here, uh, they're generally pretty decent. Um, if you gave that same piece of paper to somebody from Donegal, they're probably going to pronounce it slightly differently again as well. But uh, this would be the book Irish. This would be the, um, you know, the textbooks that we learned in um, in national school or secondary school. These are the these are the ones. These are the pronunciations that we would actually pretty much do. If I mispronounce or if I pronounce it a different way, sometimes there might be that there was a little H uh, shoved in 